Welcome everyone. In this video, I just wanted to show you how you can be a genius and move the Procreate Dreams 2 brushes, which are amazing, over to Procreate. And I wish I had thought of this myself, but this is actually one of my students that brought it up and it's ridiculously easy. So let's just backtrack for a second. So yes, Dreams 2 is officially out. They've changed their icon. It looks like this. And when you go into the drawing part, it actually looks like I'm in Procreate because the interface is so similar. And they have been so kind to give us 180 new brushes. I was not expecting this. And I honestly think that these brushes might be better than the ones that were included in the last regular Procreate update. Like this one here, I swear it is blending. If I press really lightly, it looks like it's blending with the color underneath. I've been looking for this exact effect. This is amazing. So I was like, yeah, this is cool for animation, but I want this in regular Procreate. So I've already tried going in here and just grabbing the brush library and moving it over. And even though it kind of ended up in Procreate, um, the brushes just weren't loading. So I think this needs to be done with files. So in files, if you go to your iCloud drive, you can find all of those options like somewhere in here. Here I am in iCloud. It's labeled very obvious and there's a folder that's been created. Everybody will have this folder. It's called Procreate Dream Brushes. And when you go in here, you have your classic library and then you have your animation one. So if you copy this one, and then all you have to do is find the Procreate brushes. And I already have mine here, the animation library, but you can just hold down and then paste. And it's that easy. And here they are in Procreate alive and well. And what I really like about this brush set is it has some very useful brushes. Like look at all these different mono lines and a whole section devoted to airbrushes. I really like the brushes that came with Procreate, but um, I feel like I was missing some of these. So I'm really excited to give them a try. Another little pro tip is that you wanna hold down on the folder and ask it to keep downloaded. Otherwise the brushes will be kind of like stored on the iCloud and not on your iPad. And when you go to use them, you won't actually see the image. You'll have to wait for them to download every time you wanna use them. And if you're looking for fun tutorials, that'll help you dive into all the new features of Procreate Dreams. Keep an eye on my channel. This volcano is the one I'm working on right now that's gonna help you figure out all the nuances of Flipbook. And I've already posted this one on how to do an infinite loop background in kind of like a Studio Ghibli style. Adios.